Hey there, Andy Black here, and thank you so much for stopping by this video. Now, uh, chances are that you're watching this video because you are wanting to find new clients for your digital marketing services. So if you offer web design, uh, SEO services, social media, or even if you create videos for other businesses, you are probably looking for ways to get more clients, ideally without picking up the phone and cold calling, and without having to manually type out lots of different emails. So what I'd like to do is um, give you a glimpse of my software, Web Prospector version 2, that does all of this and it automates the process, makes uh, getting new clients very quick and very easy. So what I'm going to do is go over to my machine and we'll lead straight into the demo overview within my sales video. When we open a software, we simply choose the country where we would like to find new clients. We then enter our chosen niche or trade and then enter a location. This can be a town, city, region, or even a postcode or zip code. We choose a top level domain. For this example, we will choose .com. We'll enable the enhanced results so that the software can crawl and retrieve data about each business's website if I have one. We will then choose how many businesses we would like the software to retrieve. We'll select all results. And then we will just click on the green Find Businesses button so that the software can start retrieving businesses and their required data and information. Once the software has retrieved all of this data, we can export the results with a single click to a CSV file so that we can sort and filter the results to quickly identify our perfect prospects. At the same time, the software will also export that same data to a project file that is instantly saved on your machine. We can load a project at any time by choosing our desired project and clicking the load project button. This is where we will find all the businesses for our chosen niche and location that have a website and have an email address. The middle section of the screen lets us know what elements their website is lacking. Things such as basic SEO, is their website mobile friendly, does their website have schema markup, does their website take a long time to load. Do they have a video on their homepage or does their website link to their social media profiles? Now here is the really powerful aspect of the software. We can send any of these businesses a fully customized, personalized email that can highlight the issues the software has found for the services that you offer. With Web Prospector version two, you can do this with just two clicks. So with the first click, we just click on the green send email button. This opens up a preview so that we can review the email copy and subject line before sending the email. To send the email, we just click on the send email button again and the software will send our personalized email to our prospect. This fully customized email is created based on the initial content we add within our email settings. We only need to add these settings once and the software will use this content and data when sending our emails. We add our SMTP email settings at the top and further down we can add our intro so that the prospects know who we are along with our own wording for each particular issue they might have in the sections provided. We then add our outro text which would include our call to action. Finally, we would add our sign off content which will include our name, business name, website and contact details. We can include HTML if we would like to style specific words or sentences. We can even include a number of different tags that the software will use to automatically include specific information relating to the business in question. This is great for including their business name within our subject line or referencing their location or telephone number within our email content to make it appear that our email has been hand typed and is personal to them. If there are any services that we do not offer, then we can simply disable them within our settings so that they will not be included within our prospect's email. After sending an email to a prospect, the project file will be updated with a date stamp and a red button to let us know that the prospect has been emailed and on what date. This makes it easy for us to manage different projects and to identify which prospects we have already reached out to and which ones we haven't. As well as the email feature that is built into the software, Web Prospector version 2 also exports data to CSV files, allowing us to quickly sort and filter the results to narrow down the prospects to only those that require the services that we offer. These CSV files include up to 20 columns of useful data, which will tell us everything we need to know about which issues businesses have and which ones they don't. 
This is a great way to weed out those businesses that do not need our help and to instantly pinpoint those that do. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed watching that demo. As you can see, Web Prospector version 2 is going to make it extremely easy for you to obtain new clients. So if you would like to take advantage of this, then I've created a special um, coupon code for my YouTube viewers, which is yourself, and you can access this deal by clicking the link in the description below this video. So click the link in the description, take advantage of my coupon, and I hope you see some fantastic results.